know, we've been we've been talking about this all year long. We want to send these guys out on a good note, and these the seniors are who we're all playing for right now, and we want to send them out on a good note. And and now that we're bowl eligible, we're not done yet. We want to keep we want to keep winning, and uh, these next two games are important too, just like any other game. We was uh, playing some good games, but we just couldn't put it together. You know, a full half. Sometimes it was the first half we played great, uh, second half we came out. Uh, we, the second half, but then other times it was the other way around. So I knew it was just a matter of time until we were able to put together a full game and, and get a couple more wins to, to get bowl eligible. Along with the bowl game comes 15 extra practices, and you know that's something that that uh, this team hasn't had in a while. And you know you could see, you know, just not being to a bowl game in what three years or so. Uh, you know that's that's 45 practices that we uh, that we missed out on. So it's it's key to get those 15 practices and and to get another game experience. So that's that's going to really help out the young guys. You always expect a, a team to you know break some big plays open, but it just it, it seemed like everything was coming together. Everybody was playing real solid assignment football, and you know everybody's doing their job. So when you do that, it's, it's easy to keep them up. These seniors have been through so much in their careers. You know, I think Coach Kill mentioned something like. Marquise has had eight different position coaches slash head coaches, different coaches, and uh, that's incredible. That's you know for him, for Marquise to be able to stick out, and, and the rest of the seniors be able to stick this thing out. It's incredible, and you know they deserve it. So we're we're giving it our all for them.